this is Grace, the dietitian from the Talbot Centre. This month we're going to be looking at eating in regards to anxiety. So we think, what is the connection here? But it's actually quite a strong one. When often we see um, anxiety symptoms and anxiety disorders coexist with eating disorders or under eating and overeating. And I think it's got a lot to do with using food to cope or numb the unwanted emotion of anxiety. So a few ways why, a few reasons why this might happen is that food is available for us. It's something that we can reach when we're bored, stressed, lonely. So rather than taking time to think through our thoughts or our feelings, we reach for food. So it's, it's a quick fix. Another reason it might be that we, we haven't learnt helpful strategies to cope with our emotions. So we might have relief from eating ice cream or over-exercising rather than working through what might be most helpful, um, talking it through with someone or journaling. Um, and another reason, it might be finding a situation really, really difficult that we want to escape it. So using food as a form of escaping, um, where for a moment, um, we can not have to cope, not have to experience um, the intense thoughts and feelings of daily living. So it's important that we're learning helpful strategi strategies so that we don't use food as a coping mechanism for anxiety. So over the next few weeks, I'll step you through um, some tips that can help you to cope without cope with anxiety without food.